Hello, in this video, we're going to look at a risk seekers or risk lovers willingness to pay to gamble. A risk seeker has wealth of $100. If he decides to gamble, there is a 50% chance of winning $20 and a 50% chance of losing $20. The utility function for this individual is given by the following U equals W squared, where W is wealth. What is the expected value of the gamble? The expected value of the gamble is going to be 0 0.5 times $20 if you win, plus 0 0.5 minus $20 if you lose. So the expected value here is $0. What is his utility without gambling? Well, his wealth without gambling is $100, so plugging this $100 into the utility function, we get a utility of $10,000. What is his expected utility of gambling? So we call the utility function. So the expected utility of gambling is going to be given by the following. There is a 50% chance that this person's wealth will be $120 by winning the gamble. We get $120 because this person has a wealth of $100 to begin with, plus the $20 if the person wins. And because of our utility function here, W squared, that is going to all be squared. On the other hand, there's a 50% chance that this person will lose $20. So this person's wealth starting at 100, but if you lose the bet, you'll now have $80. So that $80 will be squared, or 100 minus 20 will be squared. So doing the math here, we get 10,400. You'll note here that the person is risk loving. The person prefers the risky gamble. The expected utility is 10400 which leaves him with an expected wealth of $100 to a guaranteed $100, which gives a utility of 10000 What is his maximum willingness to pay to gamble? We're going to set the expected utility to gambling equal to the utility from not gambling. So the expected utility of gambling equals the utility from not gambling, which we found was 10,000, okay, in our first slide. So what's the expected utility? Okay, 0 0.5x plus 20 squared plus 0.5x minus 20 squared equals 10,000. So our goal here is to solve for x. This is going to be a two-step process. We're going to first solve for x, which represents the expected utility of wealth if paying to gamble, and then calculate 100 minus x. This 100 minus x, where 100 is our wealth from not gambling, minus x, which we're going to solve for, will be the willingness to pay to gamble. So just rewriting our last step. I'm going to divide through by 0 0.5. So 10,000 divided by 0 0.5 is 20,000. And I'll simplify the left-hand side, so x plus 20 squared is x squared plus 40x plus 400. And then x minus 20, with all that squared, we'll simplify down to x squared minus 40x plus 400. Simplifying the left-hand side, we get the following, the plus 40x and minus 40x cancel, adding up the two 400s and adding up the two x squareds. Subtracting 800 from both sides, dividing through by 2, and now taking the square root of both sides, x equals basically $98. So the maximum willingness to pay the gamble is 100, w is 100, minus x, which we just solved for is 98, or $2. This risk seeker is willing to pay $2 on a gamble that has an expected payout of $0. Paying $2 for a gamble with an expected value of zero leaves the person with an expected wealth of $98. The expected utility of the person's wealth by paying $2 to gamble provides just as much utility as not gambling. Okay, I will stop here.